1500 buggy, and that was John Fitzgerald, your winner. In the 851 from McQuanago, it's. Green flag, there it is. And it's wild man Willie Freshour that jumps out to the early race lead of that 888 to step side forward. Freshour will be on the outside. As it looks like Freshour fell back a little bit there. It did. So it'll be Arneson out front. It's Arneson on the right hand side. Boshaw, Trey Boshaw on the left hand side. They're two by two going through the uh, left hand split lane there. Arneson on the inside of Trey Boshaw. Shane oh. goes around in the back, collects Visser, Cooper, Jorgensen, oh. Bing. Oh, my goodness. What That's half the field that got collected in that. Meanwhile, back out front, Trey Boshaw has gotten up and around Willie Freshour. Look at that cluster of trucks. They're three <laughs> wide as they go through the left-hand corner. Just trying to get away from each other, trying to separate, trying to there's, just break there's away. There's nowhere to go back there. I see it. Right, Boshaw still, back at us. still feeling some pressure from uh, Willie Freshour. Who screwed up in turn one, but he's already back to second early as they come across here for lap, a full lap completed. Down in that first turn section, going through the middle there, and he's going to go, oh, smoke coming out of Freshour's truck already, Shane. Yeah, now they're going to go opposite lanes in the split lane. Freshour's going to try that left-hand side. There's a little bit more of that smoke again. That's right where the exhaust is on that truck, so not a very good sign early on here for Wild Man Willie Freshour. That's coming out thick now. Meanwhile, Wold has gotten up into third. Wold and uh, Freshour mixed it up a little bit, and, and it got a little physical in ERX, so we'll see if any of that spills over here to Lena. <laughs> All right, so your top two kind of breaking away, and then uh, some good battles behind them. Further back in the field, there's the rookie, the absolute rookie, Braden Boshaw. Another truck, off the a charge from Hike Club. having some troubles there. Uh, Kenneth Wilson. Might have lost a rear right wheel on that one. Yeah. I, I think I uh, this is proving my point. There's battles up front, there's battles all the way at the back, and everywhere in between, there's bumping the, and banging. The smoke out of fresh hour is just unbelievable. Two laps in. Still fully on pace, though. Yeah, trouble for another truck there. Off screen, Nick Visser has pulled off. That's a great side-by-side -side battle between those two Fords of Wold and Cooper. Cooper with some serious bite out of that corner and will steal the spot from Wold. I think Wold might be off the pace because Wayne Shunk just got up and around him as well. So that Bosch. would be your battle for third on the race course. So Boshaw, oh, another incident, another tire back there off the track. Boshaw, Fresh Hour, Wald, and Visser going out. There's that tire I saw yeah, someone, pop off. Someone's going to want to come pick that up. <laughs> I think Steven and Smokin. Another great battle going on there between uh, 844 of Ben Holcher and 833 of Nick Big. Big is your defending class champion, and he's uh, struggling a little bit now as, again, a huge puff of smoke out of wild man Willie Freshour's truck. But still running in second, and really nobody's gaining Correct. on him very quickly. So. Pulling away from third, but your leader, Boshaw, out front. He is checking out four seconds on Freshour, 
and uh, Cooper is in third, another four seconds behind Freshour, whose truck is just filling this course up with smoke. Yeah, Trey Boshaw would be uh, in line for his first win if he could hold on here, as would Wildman Willie Fre Thank you for your patience, guys. We're working with a, a mild audio glitch here as we get our announcers back up and running. So I thought I'd just pop in here. You know, this class, Superstock Truck, one of our most competitive truck classes you're going to see all weekend long. You see these guys all out battle for clean air out front, especially on a track like this, makes it very difficult. Fun fact, last year, 2019, we saw 11 different podium finishers in this class. We've already chalked up a few of those in rounds one and two at ERX. So I'm eager to see how this one's going to play out this weekend for Superstock Truck. All right, there we go. So we're back. Sorry for that little technical difficulty. It is the super stock, stock trucks back out on the track after our competition uh, caution there. Yeah, out front, they look at Bing on the charge on the inside of Wildman Willie Freshour. That's going to move Bing up into second. Freshour still showing all kinds of smoke out of the exhaust of that truck. Now he's got his hands full with Cooper as they come to the left hander onto the back stretch. It's kind of weird when that smoke comes out, it's more mainly in the corners when he's off of the gas, not on the gas. Well, whatever it is, it's not impeding his ability True. to go fast here because he's still running in third. He is. Although he's gonna have a, a real fight on his hands here to hold off Kyle Cooper. Back up front, Bing now putting some pressure on Trey Boshaw. Hey, that's gonna be a Maybe side by side as they head down into turn one. Bing He's got a good inside. drive. He's got a good drive to the inside. Absolutely. He's got to get inside here in that split lane. And yeah, we'll see if they, they do. They go opposite lanes. So Boshaw will be on the inside coming into the right hander. Let's see if Bing tries to set up a two corner move where Bing can wind up on the inside for the upcoming left hander. Now Bing tried to go outside in there. The back of your screen there, Cooper and Fresh Hour. Looks like Cooper got into third. For a moment. Oh, no back. There yeah, comes fresh Wildman hour, Willie up. on the charge. Meanwhile, race for the lead is side by side again between Bing and Boshaw. And Bing got around Trey Boshaw. And the yellow coming back out, we're hearing. Looks like fresh hour. There it is. He yeah. flipped over, did a complete flip. Yeah, well, that, now uh, that smoke is the least of his worries. But turn number three, I believe that was, or four. Yeah, that truck, yeah, that took a beating. 
So the yellow back out for our quick car, super stock truck class. So we're gonna take a look at fresh hour there. Make sure he's okay, he took a hard hit. Might have a replay of it. Oh, there you see. <laughs> yeah, and the uh, comes port. flying in the screen upside down there. there. It is. Well, as far as rollovers go, it wasn't, uh, you know, unusually violent. All right, we're going to take a short break here as we take a look and uh, make sure that Wild Man Willie Freshour is doing all right down there. We'll be back with more Super Stock Truck, our conclusion right after this. It's me, your Uncle Cooper, and this is a Cooper tire. Great tire. Now, it's not going to cook you a pot roast, but it will stop when you hit the brakes. And these truck tires can stop on average 10 feet shorter than other tires on a wet road. See, the trick is in the grip. Uh, and these tires what, grip like my hands. Sorry. Look, I'm your uncle. I love you. I want you to stop when you need to. Doesn't matter if it's for a red light or a duckling. All right, so go I, with the Coopers. I mean, it looks like they're checking Cooper on the driver. Never I, I kind of feel yucky doing that it. if there's like a medical thing happening. Race course has been known as the best value in safety. Yeah, I understand. I'm just saying it feels kind of We manufacture a kind complete of line of head to toe safety equipment, including snow rated helmets. Our Nomex long gauntlet outseam gloves offer incredible comfort. The Euro yeah, yeah, they're, shoes they're taking a while. Here, so and, and a red style. flag like that. Chevron 5 Nomex suits are both lightweight and great looking. Harnesses are available in SFI or FIA ratings in latch and link or cam lock. When you're looking for yeah, them, I, I like that you a little better, I guess. Race quick for all I'll, your I'll, racing safety I'll, needs. I'll do whatever I'll do whatever you want, Joe. I just for me it feels kind of yucky. Yeah. All right, cool. We've been telling you for years that heater bodysuit keeps you comfortable on stand. That's just a few of the testimonies from our 50,000 plus satisfied customers. Rocks, sand, heat. Life off-road is tough. We wouldn't have it any other way. If Amsoil products are designed for this kind of punishment, think about what they can do for your daily driver. Upgrade to AMSOIL protection today and get fast free shipping from AMSOIL.com. Good afternoon, race fans. We're here at Dirt City Motorplex in Lena, Wisconsin. We are so excited to be here. Now, what I want you to do is head on down to the pits. The pits are open, by the way. Go mingle and meet with your favorite drivers and teams. And on your way there, across from the Cooper Tires trailer, visit the merch booth. We have hats, tees, hoodies, you name it, all of your official series merch. And to those of you watching at home, gear up for ERX Motor Park and Crandon ahead with all of your official series merch at champoffroad.com. He's, uh, he's out of the truck getting out by himself, just FYI. Designed for your journey. Rugged radios. Work, race, play. Hey, Steve, where you at? Experience clear communications through headsets or helmet kits. I'm up on the hill to your right. Oh, there you are. Talk vehicle to vehicle. Keep radio contact going. Copy. Talk to passengers. Copy that, I got you. And stream your favorite music. Complete communications for UTVs, base camp, toy haulers, or off-road vehicles. Rugged Radios, the authority in communications. When we come back, can I, can I do just a quick update that really uh, all the truck and walk and everything?
riding with me. Welcome back, Dirt City Motorplex Championship Off Road. We're doing our onboard camera with Scotty Lawrence here, Shane. Yeah, and the uh, Can Am Pro Mod side by side. We'll see him and the, the rest of those competitors out here a little bit later on. Again, just taking a, a good close look. If you look closely at the track surface, you can see the, the amount and the scale of the rocks that are kind of baked into this track surface. So that's another thing to keep an eye on. Not only uh, that they could upset the equipment and unpredictable driving lines, but also the drivers have to deal with those rocks coming into the cab from time to time. Yeah, the roost is pretty hard out here. The rocks come up through the surface throughout the day. And uh, this is the back section here for Scotty Lawrence. A couple uh, little tabletops there. And then you take this little sweeper. Yeah, very very high speed corner. The, uh, the highest speed corner on the course here. Down into the hole into turn five. Get the car squared up. Back up, take a right, and that's one lap here at Dirt Plex. Let's throw it down to Haley Shenley down in the pits. Thank you so much. Hanging out in the mechanics area here, just outside the Cooper Tire section. As we were under red flag conditions, I did get an update on Troy Shane, the 829 machine. Looks like it was a flat right rear, but it looks like as they re-rack and restack him, he's going to be tagging the back of the field. But tire preservation, that is a tricky science here on a very technical track like we have here at Dirt City. Thank you, Haley. Appreciate that. Another update, Shane, uh, Willie Freshour. We saw him crash pretty hard there. Uh, two rolls. And uh, what did you see there? Yeah, from our uh, from the glimpse we caught on camera of it, it looked uh, like it wasn't wasn't a very significant roll. But uh, then our, our extra sets of eyes up here in the booth said, no, he actually received some contact and went over pretty hard. Uh, took him a couple of minutes, but he was out of the truck and walking around. So I'm sure uh, Wild Man Willie, a little bit worse for wear, but uh, he was walking around under his own power I'm, uh, knowing him as well as i do i'm sure he was probably cracking jokes down there and, uh, we will catch up with him tonight make sure that everything's all good hopefully we'll see him out here tomorrow yeah we wish him well really fresh out in that 888 ford he's definitely out of this one all right this is the quick car super stock truck and we're gonna finish up here last few laps with these guys 833 gonna lead them around that's Early. Nick Bing from yep, uh, yep, just to our south in Abrams. Trey Boshaw is second. Kyle Cooper is third. Ben Holcher fourth. And it's Wayne Shunk, Joe Machosik, Daryl Wold, Braden Boshaw, Scott Heikela, Ty Arneson, and Roger Shaden rounding out the uh, remaining trucks here in the super stock field. All right, so we're going to lead them around here. Our quick car, super stock truck class. After this, we'll have our uh, sportsman side-by-side, -side, pro buggy, 170 side-by-side, -side, so still quite a few races left here in our sportsman class. And then uh, we'll get into our pro classes a little bit later, around 3.30 or so. I'm looking forward to those as well. So thank you for coming out today to Dirt City Motorplex here in Lena, Wisconsin. And if you're online on the uh, live stream, we welcome you in as well. We got a full day uh, tomorrow as well, Shane. It's going to be a good one. It's supposed to be just a tad bit cooler tomorrow, so uh, about 90 degrees here today, and uh, maybe cool off a little bit. And we're expecting a, another great day of racing here for championship off road at Dirt City Motorplex here in Lena, Wisconsin, just north of Green Bay. Yeah, absolutely, Dave. Hey, I, I got an update from timing and scoring. So because of the red flag situation, that kind of ate into that 18 minute. Uh, time allocation that every race has today. So when they go back to green flag racing, we're going green, white, checker. Wow. So a two lap scramble to the finish here in Superstock. Ooh, this is going to be good. And Bing is going to lead him out. He's on our screen now. The Holcher Brothers Inc. Maxis Lucas Oil's car. Looks like they're maybe trying to sort out. Uh, yeah, we got a dispute over who should be in second, so scoring and timing are, are sorting that out as well. 
It's like Boshaw and Cooper both think they should be <laughs> scored in second place as it stood there for a moment. Can they yell at each other there? Can they hear them between themselves? I, I'm sure there might have been some lively hand signals. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so they're green, white, checker, like Shane just said. This is going to be interesting here. Our quick car, super stock truck, class Green, white, checker. As our pace truck leads them down into the gully, turn five. There's their uh, current uh, I'm thinking it's gonna, be, it's gonna be tough for anybody to chase down Nick Bing, but I'm also looking at who's in fifth place, Joe Machosik. He's one of the most uh, aggressive drivers in this class. Always fast, has, has won handfuls of races here in Superstock. I'm looking for him to make a move here on these last two laps. All right, I'm going to keep an eye on him, Machosik, at 851. Here we go. Back to green flag racing in Superstock. Boshaw will look to the outside of Bing as they go into turn one. Boshaw with a run. Bing is going to move out a little bit. Nice job of playing defense there by Bing as he moved Boshaw a little bit off his preferred line. Chosik had a good uh, line that you were talking about him earlier. He went inside in the split lane there. Let's see if he makes up some time. There's Bing leading this one. Yeah, a little bit further back. You've got Holcher and Cooper side by side. That would be your battle for third place with Holcher on the inside. And Boshaw is reeling in Nick Bing once again. Cooper still in third at 873. And then Holcher and Chosik th uh, fourth and fifth. But Bing leading this one, like you said, so this should be as they come around, Shane. Let's see, yeah, he's got it out in his hand, I believe. There it is, white flag, one to go. One lap to go. I'll tell you what, Boshaw is still sticking with Nick Bing. Boshaw's gonna try that outside line again. Well, that time he thought about tucking underneath Bing up on three wheels there. Oh, same. Cooper went up on the bike and made the save. He did. So, Bosch. Bochamp trying that inside in the split lane. It doesn't look like it worked. Bing throwing her sideways, coming into uh, turn two there. Yeah, Boshaw gave up just a little bit of time there to Nick Bing. Cooper sort of has Boshaw in his sights too, but we're running out of time here. There's only two corners to go. Bing got on two real momentarily, and it wasn't real high. But it looks like he's got control of this one. Last time through the sweeper up and over the Hill down into the gully. Oh, Boshaw. Boshaw. Sliding sideways. Yeah, scrummed a little too much. 873 trying to come in. Cooper trying to make a move there. Bing is going to take the win. Cooper, the last line. chance. Boshaw no. will hold off Cooper. So it's Trey Boshaw second, Cooper third, Ben Holcher fourth, Joe Machosik, then it's Wayne Shunk, Wold, and all the rest. So there it is. Yeah, what do you think, Dave? Did the uh, super stock truck, did it uh, did it not disappoint? <laughs> it was good. It was good. Bing with the win there. Boshaw finishing up second. Cooper comes across third. Look at that, 1.87. Kyle Cooper, you were throwing absolutely everything you had out there into this race. Now, from what we've seen earlier in the weekend, it seems like you almost have to set yourself up for position on the front stretch in that last left-hand turn. Was you Would you say that was the case in this one? Yeah, for sure. If you can get a good run down the hill, uh, you can make up a lot of time. You can outbreak a guy into this hairpin. Uh, problem is, you go in there too hot, and it gets a little buck wild in the braking bumps. And uh, we had that happen. But it's a hard-fought race. Uh, it was warm out there. Had a quick start and uh, just kind of picked my way off. Willie was running really good, and he uh, hit a hole right in front of me. And then I just tapped him. And... Willie knows I don't race dirty. I've been trying to help him out on setup and some things. So uh, sorry to him if I got into him or he felt like I got into him. But uh, I thank the Lord. He's blessed us with a great weekend. Uh, my family and crew got a ton of friends out here this weekend. So shout out to you guys. Thanks for coming. Um, I got to thank Classic Instruments. Uh, I got Scott here this weekend supporting us. Uh, Mark from Dynamic Hurt Converter. Jeep Super Shop. Wolverine Performance. Uh, everyone else. Thank you. Bringing it down to the wire.
fifth is Kyle Cooper in third. And Trey Beauchamp, I want to ask you about the strategy there. It looks like the things you were trying, you were really trying to force Nick out of his comfort zone. So talk me through that. Yeah, no, once uh, once he got by me, my spotter just said, uh, you know, watch watch what he's doing and learn, learn where he's driving. And uh, once I did that, I kind of stayed right with him and uh, screwed up at the same corner. He got up on the bike and uh, it would have been a good battle at the end if uh, both went to screwed up there. <laughs> Who would you like to thank? I'd like to thank uh, my dad, my whole family, and uh, my brother helps out a ton. And uh, my crew, Marco, Ty, my wife, Megan, uh, Julie, it's everyone. And uh, my sponsor, uh, Tim Osha Builders, BalsyBrand.com, Oily Life, Gruner Graver Wellness, UP Fab, Dell Fab, and uh, Asher UP and Billy Electric. Thanks. Good job, well done. Trey Beauchamp in second. Oh, yeah, and the shock man. And the shock man, he says. And Nick Bing, congratulations on the win here. You really had to be on the defensive there to take care and take charge of your line. So what's it like in this point in the day to be on the defensive? It's real exciting. Uh, we got through halfway. I was up the fifth, and, like, we got a lot of good trucks ahead of us, so we had all our work cut out for us. Uh, I kind of went for uh, – outside lane and split lane i didn't try it all race and it, it worked out really well at that restart so then we just kind of dug in and just kept kept it running our marks and that old ford she was running good so we were able to chase him down so who would you like to thank for the gold <laughs> a lot of people i'd like to thank today uh holter brothers incorporated they're the huge sponsor of, the, of me and this track you know what if it wasn't for them this track wouldn't be here there's a huge help the whole dirt city crew that's awesome to be to be a part a small part of this thing it's just awesome this facility to make it happen be 12 miles down the road from my house this is even better so and then a lot of other people I like to thank uh, charlie mccormick from atd keeping me calm i put her up in a bike on the last lap i thought i was going to give her away but he's like just settle down you'll be fine so kept going on that so uh, Lucas Oil, uh, Adams Automotive, Fleet Pride of Green Bay, Nishek Auto Body, uh, Aero Coatings, uh, Dale and Jane's Pub, uh, Smoke and Joe's RV Service, Country Club, uh, 